Well, this this weekend, out of the the 24 innings that we played, an extra inning game yesterday, uh, we really only played. We had three three innings where we had defensive breakdown, and uh, and two of those innings are what's co what costed us two games. Um, in game one, we had uh, great pitching effort from Jamie Fisher. She struck out 11 um, on a day where she was kind of off, uh, had in trouble with the strike zone, um, but managed to uh, to really just really bear down and get herself through uh, that first game. And offensively, we, we did a great job uh, knocking their pitcher out in like the third inning, um, getting into their bullpen, and really setting ourselves up. We, we had multiple opportunities to really break that game open offensively, uh, but just struggled to get that clutch hit when we needed it. Um, Nicole Fisher offensively did great for us, had a home run and a double. Um, you know, really set the tone from us. It was the first game that we had put her in the leadoff spot. Um, just because she is one of those players right now that has been clutch for us, has been giving us great at bats, uh, and then when she does get on base, allows us some some off or some you know some speed on the bases. Uh, another way to kind of put some pressure on the defense. We switched the order around a little bit. That was our first adjustment. The second was to kind of mix around in our order uh, after the first three to. Uh, to get some of those productive hitters from the top of the order and move them down on the order. Uh, just for the simple fact that the bottom of our order hasn't really done a great job of, of setting the top of our order up uh, in positions to, uh, to score a lot of runs. Um, so we moved Julia Hunter, who's been at the top of our order most of, the, most of the year, down to the bottom of the order. And in that first game, it worked perfectly. She led off an inning, and then Nicole Fisher hit a two-run homer. So. Um, we were trying some things that way, and, and really it looked great because we had more opportunities than we have had offensively. Um, and we were able to cash in on a couple of them in that first game and then play really solid defense after the first inning and, uh, and get a comeback win uh, in that first game. Uh, game two was much like the first. Um, you know, We started Jamie. We put her on a pitch count. We wanted her to get us off to a good start in game two, which she did. Um, the only problem there was their hitters do a really good job of being very patient at the plate, and she was at her pitch limit after the first inning. So uh, we brought in Abby Van Vliet, and uh, you know she had struggled this year coming into games or starting games and not being mentally ready, uh, and had to give up a big hit to get things going. And so that was her goal for this weekend, and, and she came in and fired five unbelievable innings for us. Um, you know, she really dominated the strike zone. She kept their hitters off balance. Um, she really did a nice job, and, and our defense played really well behind her um, until the last inning. We allowed them to come back and win the game, gave up seven runs uh, in one inning, and we had a three-run lead. So it was, uh, it was hard to watch, uh, both from a, a pitching standpoint and a defensive standpoint. We had opportunities uh, from our veteran players on defense to really make a hustle and effort play, and we didn't do it and allowed their hitters an extra strike. And when you allow hitters an extra strike, bad things can happen, and they definitely did. Um, we had a, a couple of plays, one in specific with the bases loaded, a little pop-up. We didn't give good effort after it. Ends up giving her another op opportunity to hit. She hits a grand slam. Uh, so it was those kind of things uh, in just really three specific innings, one in each game. That, uh, that made the weekend really difficult. Other than that, we played solid defense, got good pitching. And like I said, we're just missing those, those clutch hits. We're getting ourselves into really good spots. We ran the bases well. Um, just one of those things where it's really hard, leaves a bad taste in your mouth after really grinding things out and really trying to get to that point to, to really kind of turn things and get us over the hump. Um, you felt like we were doing that stuff all weekend long, but we are just missing that one big hit, I think. And, uh, or that one big, really defensive play to keep us where we were, but uh, we were really about five pitches away from a three-game sweep. So uh, something to look positive for. But uh, it was a big weekend for us, and, and uh, you know our kids. I know now. Uh, I'm anxious to see how they respond today. We have a day off. Uh, as coaches, we're going over to work on the field, so they know that it's open. Hopefully, we have a lot of kids going out there hitting on their own, doing some things on their own. That'll show us a lot about uh, where they're at mentally. Um, but other than that, we'll get back to work on Tuesday. Wednesday, we're supposed to head to uh, 
Wisconsin. The weather doesn't look great. Uh, looks like mid 30s with snow and and rain, and that's about 80 to 90 percent chance of that on Wednesday. So we're going to play that by ear. We'll see tomorrow. Um, but we're really looking forward to is this weekend uh, being able to play a home game. Our field's in good shape. Uh, you know what we need to do right now is to get it get it really primed up today. Put our tarps on. Uh, the, the mound and the plate, be able to get a practice on it tomorrow and uh, just really wait for the weekend for that because it'll be a, it'll be a very breath of fresh air for our team and, and our players. I know that uh, being on the road has been a, an absolute grind, especially when you've got half the team that's never done it before. Um, so it's, it's been taking its toll on us and we're ready to play a home game. Any questions? I think so. She's done a really great job. Uh, you know, I've talked about it before here is we don't really look at the average. We look at quality at bats and we, we do a good job of, of tracking that. And by far, she's one of the best on our team as, you know, when we talk quality at bats, that's putting the ball in play hard. And so when her out, when she makes outs, a lot of them are hard outs, uh, you know, going deep in the count and getting on base when you're, you know, taking a walk, taking a hit by pitch, stuff like that. And she's done a really good job of that for us. And, and uh, I can't remember the last time we started a game and led off a game on a first pitch base hit. And she did that for us this weekend. And you know that's something that uh, you know, our first inning, we need that spark. We need that, at least that real, to set the tone of that this is going to be a tough lineup to face. And she did a really nice job for us this weekend. And, and like I said, it allows us to, to move some other people down in the order and, and hopefully uh, you know, get a spark down there as well. What kind of mental grip do you think it's going to give the team to actually get a home game against Indiana? Oh, it'll be huge. It'll be huge. I mean, they are they're tired. You can just tell. Uh, you know, when you leave on Friday at 1 o'clock, don't get to the hotel until 10.30, play a doubleheader, play a single game, get back on the bus and get home at midnight and get, get up for an 8 o'clock class every weekend for 8 or 9 weeks. It's really, really difficult. Um, you don't even get a chance to sleep in your own bed half the week. You know, it's it's been tough, but it's not an excuse. But it's just more of a they're ready to uh, to play a home game, and uh, you know what a great opportunity because these next two weeks are going to be really crucial for the Valley. Uh, you know, to play Wichita State, who's been doing a good job. I think they're right about 500. Um, but they're a team that matches up really well with us, and, and we can do some damage there, I think. And then Indiana State the following weekend, uh, same thing. Uh, you know, they're a really good team that's at the at the bottom of our league right now, but uh, have been playing some of those top teams in the league. So um, the next two weeks are really important, and, and I'm really happy that they're at home because I think it will give us a boost of energy. Have you guys ever gone this long without home getting another season, a season to play any person? No. No, and usually it's, you know, when I'm scheduling, it's usually March 19th is that cutoff date. That that's the usually the last day that you are not going to be able to be outside. After that, it's usually you can get out. It might be a little cold here and there, but the frost is usually gone, and you're able to do some things. And this year, I mean, it wasn't until, I mean, last week when we left on on Friday, we still had frost coming up in some areas on our field. So. Uh, you know, I, I know that the weather this weekend and the rain and all that stuff helped it out, but uh, yeah, this is definitely the longest it's ever been. From, from the mental aspect, is it good for this team to play the Wisconsin series, or in a way is it kind of maybe better for your squad if it just goes home or, or cancels? Well, you know, that's one of those things that we can't control. Uh, you know, it's on the schedule, we're going to play it if, if it's the weather's right and everything falls into place. If it's not, then we'll take advantage of it. And uh, you know, get an extra day of rest, and uh, some of our kids will get in the cage and, and get some work in. But uh, you know, it's on the schedule, so that, uh, that's just been my philosophy. Is that you know, we're not going to shy away from anything, even though they're one of the best teams in the country right now. Uh, you know, to knock them off would be just as lifting as a day off, I think. Well, they've done a really good job. The, the new coaching staff there, uh, I think this is their third year, uh, and they've really turned that program around. 
they're in the top 25 right now. Uh, they've got a great pitching staff. I think they're like ERA, team ERA is just above one. Um, and offensively, um, you know, they're, they're scoring a lot of runs. Um, so it, it, it's one of those things where, you know, I think they're right now just a little bit over the, the top half of the, the Big Ten, but the teams that they've played non-conference and, and beaten is very impressive to considering, especially considering where they've been in the last, you know, five years. So uh, they're, they're a good, very good team. Anybody else? Any update on what might happen in the conversation? Nothing yet. Uh, we've kind of left that one up in the air to see what happens with both of our conference games and, and rescheduling there because that would be the first priority. So. Anyone else? Thank you.